Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Good morning, losers. It's nine o'clock. You know, I don't need your judgment, okay? They judge me before they even know me. I'm not proud of that, but getting to my walk, um, kind of diverting from my, my goal for the week of obviously trying to get that mile done. I had a very, very difficult time sleeping last night. I just couldn't sleep, I don't know. You know when your brain just doesn't shut off and then before you know it, it's you look at your clock and you get super frustrated and you do your quick math of like, oh, I can still get three hours of sleep. And then, I don't know, before you know it, you just cave. And it's six in the morning and your kids are waking up. I did want to shift gears. Something I've been wanting to talk about that I've never really put out into the open before. Now I call it an addiction. It's self-diagnosed, having done some research myself on addiction and some of the, the key tenets of addiction, if you will. Yeah, I've, I've never put this out there. This is kind of hard. I, I, had, I had all these hopes to talk about it and now I'm kind of trying to backtrack. I had a severe problem with binge eating, you guys. I would do really well on a diet for a little while. And the worst of it is when my wife would do my meal preps and I would take them to work and then I would throw them out. And he, both on the drive to work and then on the way home, we'd get Whataburger or Jack in the Box or McDonald's. And I wanted to open up about this. One, I hope my wife sees it. Again, it's not like I was hiding it from her. Like, you know, she doesn't see the bank statements or anything. Those were the moments that made me realize the severity of things, how extreme things would got, had gotten. I would hide trash. I would take money out of the bank to try and hide it from my family. My addiction isn't one. <laughs> isn't one you can hide. You know, it's not like I was keeping from my wife that I'd put 200 plus pounds back on. But in my mind, I felt fully justified and felt that that was a good course of action so she wouldn't know about it. I guess I never really took the time to apologize to her for it. So suppose that's why I'm putting it out here to you guys now. I know she'll see this. I know my daughters will see this. I don't think they'll be proud. But sometimes you gotta connect to those real and raw emotions if you're gonna come out better on the other side. So, wifey, mama bear, I'm sorry, Lillian. Emery and Olive. I'm sorry. I promise I'm gonna do better. I promise I'm gonna be the man that you deserve, Amelia. 
and the father that you deserve, girls. Now I'm getting flustered. I know I'm, I typically try to stay positive, but I just, I had to get this one off my chest. And it was so bad. I was spending between 30 and $40 a day when that money could have been going home, could have been going into savings. I'm not that person anymore. I'm gonna be better for us, I promise. Oh. Hope you guys aren't crying over your breakfast right now. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't, couldn't hold on to it anymore. So, so much of this process has been cathartic for me and helped me process a lot of things I'd, I never thought I'd put. you know, topless pictures of myself online. My family hasn't even seen me shirtless. But here we are, breathing heavy, crying with a nose full of snot for all my followers. I really need you guys to know how much the comments mean and if I don't respond to somebody or if I miss one, I'm sorry. About to get run over. They don't see me at all. I literally almost died. Glad I got that apology off my chest. <laughs> you guys mean the world. And I know from your end, maybe it's like, Derek, it's just a comment. I read every one of them. <sighs> and I cherish every one of them. <sighs> so, sorry today got away from me, but I'm, I'm back on track. Still not gonna miss my walk. Still not gonna miss the gym. Still gonna keep pushing forward. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest, losers. It's, uh, I'm sure you can tell it's been pretty repressed for quite some time. Only better from here, right? I love you guys. Thank you for continuing to tune in and like and comment. To all the new subscribers, welcome. Sorry, this is uh, how you get to meet me for the first time, but. Much appreciated. Refocus tomorrow. Back on trying to get under the 13 minutes. And keep grinding, you know how we do.
losers. So that's a wrap for Tuesday, November 17th, day 12, mile walk in the morning, gym at night. We did legs. And so I realized I haven't really given you guys a breakdown of what I'm doing in the gym, why specifically I use the machines. I had a hip injury, a sciatic injury, and a knee injury. So I really am just trying to ease my way back into things. I'm feeling really good. So next week I might start my compound movements, which is gonna recruit a lot of big muscle groups working simultaneously. Think deadlift, squat, bench, things like that. And then I'll move and do some isolation work after that. So some of the muscle groups that work and work them individually that help strengthen those bigger movements. That's my objective for right now. It's kind of from, it's derived from a program that's called push, pull, legs. So you do all push movements one day, all pull movements another day, and then legs. And it's actually six days a week. So we might be stepping it up, feeling pretty good. I want to see how that first week goes with free weights and we'll take it from there. If you guys are enjoying the content, you want to see more, please make sure you click subscribe, ding the notification bell, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Have you ever been so close to your dreams becoming reality?